I think probably the most emotional one and tricky we ever won, we ever we ever did was the to live through 9/11 and to try to persuade everybody not to capitulate to the terrorists by stopping operations and to get the U.S. to reopen its airspace and to get the U.S. to to introduce at least a more reasonable screening process because from a, from a uh, terrorist point of view, everybody had become a terrorist overnight and it became very difficult to operate. And I had, I had some discussion with the Congress at the time, Congress committee at the time that was working on, on, on establishing these rules. They admitted that some of those were excessive, but they said, look, we'll, we'll fine tune it later. The, the public expects us to do that. Also, there was a major problem that we couldn't get any insurance anymore and we had to get the insurance process working again. So at that particular point, the, the, whole ind the whole airline industry came to a standstill and it had to, it had to get back going fairly quickly. And there were major hurdles there, one of which was security on how to make it reasonable and, and safe for others, but also reasonable to operate, mm -hmm. and also the question of insurance, for airplanes could not fly without insurance. I'm very proud of IOSA. I think this is a great process. We had started way back when, in Amman, uh, 12 years ago, almost 20 years ago now, I made the statement that uh, we should have not only safety as primary goal for every 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 uh, president of, of company of, of our airlines, but also the first call for IATA, and and also that we should make sure that our members had a minimum amount of, of security of, of safety nets of safety activities to ensure that the safety process continues to improve. We had said at the time the objective of reducing the uh, reducing the accident rate by 50% by 50 and we achieved it 10 years later. But you have to remember at that time that there was a fair bit of opposition within the group because they said, uh, most of my members said, well, the, the certificate of operation is actually delivered by the nation, by, by the country where we were, were, uh, were registered. So we don't have any business in there. And I said, well, no, I think we should be proud of that. We should be proud, sure we need that. But we also, we should insist on a standard within ourselves that we adhere to it and we want to and in fact, I said someday you won't be about. We get to the stage where we won't be a member of IATA unless we actually pass the test, like IOSA, and we finally got. Them.